an Albany landlord says he is one of many being targeted by burglars. Over the last two weeks, he's had three properties burglarized for a hot item. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley is live tonight with details. Jessica. Wallace Miller says he's fallen victim to thieves before, but this time he caught the criminals red-handed. Now they're facing charges. Wallace Miller was stopping by one of his properties when he noticed an unknown truck parked in the driveway. He says the suspects played it cool. I asked him what they was doing, you know, and didn't act like there's no problem. And they said, we're uh, cleaning out for the owner. And I said, oh, you are? He said, yeah, we're cleaning out all this old stuff for the owner. Miller knew this was a lie because he was the owner. He says his back door had been kicked in. Liquid from the hot water heater was all over the place, and the home was missing doorknobs and plumbing items. When he went to his car to call 911, the suspect sped off. And I had the tag number and all, and in about within 30 minutes or so, they had found him at Harvey's grocery store with some of the merchandise on the back of the truck. Jamie Harris and Susan Price are charged with burglary, while Wallace Miller has to pay for the damages to his home and replace the hot water heater. If we do it ourselves, around three to four hundred dollars, but if you had to call a plumber in, you're looking at about five hundred dollars. He says this is the third time in two weeks that someone has burglarized one of his properties for hot water heaters. Those with modern gas say the thieves likely aren't making much of a profit. When we take a water heater out for a customer and swap it out, we get about ten dollars for one. You know, there may be some residual copper on the top of them, but besides that, it's just not a whole lot of money in a junk water heater. It was a $10 risk that the suspects may have to pay for for years to come. Wallace Miller says while copper thefts in his properties have declined, he's noticed that thieves are targeting other items. He's calling for officials to enact stricter laws so that stolen merchandise can't be sold. Frank